I was curious, how is lightning formed in clouds? And I came across the theory that small particles of ice that are floating in the clouds kind of bump into each other, forming static electricity that then becomes lightning. Clouds reveal the invisible sky, and I think that's a really beautiful idea. My name is Jennifer Steinkamp. I'm an artist. I created winter fountains for the Benjamin Franklin Parkway here in Philadelphia. Jennifer Steinkamp is really a true pioneer in the field of digital media. She's an installation artist and she works with video and computers to explore ideas about architectural space and motion and perception. I'm Penny Balkenbach, the executive director of the Association for Public Art, and I'm the chief curator for Winter Fountains. Her work is fulfilled by her enthusiasm for this vast creative and scientific breakthrough made by Benjamin Franklin. It also evokes the art and science explorations represented by the Parkway Institutions. My name is Larry Dubinsky. I'm president and CEO of the Franklin Institute and a member of the Parkway Foundation Board of Directors. Fountains traditionally serve as focal points that decorate and animate or punctuate the landscape. And Jennifer's concept for winter fountains was inspired by the signature fountains of the Parkway landscape design. Winter Fountain serves as a centerpiece for Parkway 100, the centennial celebration of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. This was presented by the Parkway Council and commissioned by the Association for Public Art. I'm Matt Rader. I'm the president of the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society. I see the winter fountains as a way to bring the parkway alive in the wintertime. It's a shame that you can't run fountains in the winter because, uh, you know, the, the water would freeze. Although, I bet it would look really cool. <laughs> and so I thought, well, I could, I could make fountains. These metaphorical fountains on the parkway turn on as the true fountains, the water fountains, turn off for the winter. Her animations are highly detailed, and they're derived from the natural world. But the end result is really very different. It's contradictory, and the animations are both hyper-real and also unreal. When you're in a landscape in the winter, it can feel dead and quiet. And yet there are millions of things happening all around you. Biologically, water changing form and moving, all kinds of things evolving in this landscape, birds moving, even some insects. And winter fountains actually invite you to really experience that richness. <laughs> 